Hello everybody, Nadia Nandaz here. How's everybody on this fine January the 3rd? It's the big vote. Let's see if Kevin's going to be Speaker of the House. He's not going to be Speaker of fuck all. That's what he's going to be Speaker of because he's not effective. Not effective at all. Because you know what? He's a spineless, gutless man. That's what he is. He stood up there after January 6th and said it was all Trump's fault and everything else. If he hadn't got up there on that ellipse, none of that stuff would have happened on January 6th. Two weeks later, there he is, on bended knee, kissing the big mango moose's big ample ass ring. That's what he was doing. Sitting there smiling. He looked like he was squirming when he was standing beside him at oh, Mara Loco down there, whatever the hell that is. But anyway, that's what's going on today. So, Ozzy, he's spineless. He really is. He's going to have no control whatsoever. He's gave all the concessions away to everybody else because he doesn't know how to lead. He doesn't. All he's doing is scrambling, trying to get these friggin' lowlifes out there to give them little crumbs, whatever they want to give them. And then once he gets up there, he's going to have no control because they're going to run him six ways to Sundays. That's what's going to happen to him. He's just a weak, pathetic man that hitched his wagon to the wrong son of a bitch. Just saying. And you know what? That's what he gets. It's good enough for him, just saying. Good enough for him. He deserves everything he gets and more. He might get the gavel. Might get it given to him, handed to him by Nancy Pelosi. But you know what? Seeing as she's not leader of the party anymore, it kind of takes the shine off that a little bit, don't you think? It'd be okay if she was still leader of the opposition, but she's not. She stepped down from that position. So she's just basically giving him a chunk of wood and saying... You know, like Carrie Lake does to everybody? Like she thinks she's Italian. Just saying. But anyway, um, he'll never have her balls or her, or her spine. You know, she may have been wrong once or maybe twice. Maybe. But you know what? She steered that ship and she did not give up. And she talked to all them people and kept talking to them. Brought them around to her way of thinking. That's what a leader does. A leader hangs with his people and gets them all to do what they need to get done. They might not like it, but they'll see the light because she sees the reason and so did they. So, she may have been wrong once, just saying. But anyway, she out firm. But Kevin, he wouldn't even make a good cabin boy, him. In order to get votes, he handed his balls over to Marjorie Taylor Greene and his spine over to people like Jim Bag Jordan and James Comer. That's what he did. So he's got no balls. He's got no spine because he gave it to the weakest people in the friggin' house. Uh, so I don't know where he thinks he's going to be a good leader, especially handing his balls to Marjorie Taylor Greene. Can you imagine? Anyway, he gave concessions that would limit the votes needed to vote out the speaker. And he's he thinks he's going to be the speaker and he wants to lower the votes to get him out of there. He think he'd be boosting that up, make them all have to vote. But no. Um... All she's going to be is like a figurehead. You know, like the Queen, uh, the Queen of England was in Canada. Her face may be on the money, but she had no say in how our government works. And you know what? That's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to sit up there with his little wooden hammer because you can't really call it a gavel because he doesn't know how to use it. He's not entitled to use it. He's, he just doesn't have the leadership to do it. Old Nancy get out there and bang that gavel. That he sit there and go bang, bang, bang. Let's investigate Joe Biden because Marjorie Taylor Greene wants to. Let's invite Hunter Biden because... Uh, James Comer wants to. Yeah, can you imagine the shit show in those committees? She's probably going to be chairman of the Ways and Means or something like that. I can see it coming. I just can't. They get her out for all that anti-Semitic bullshit, take all her committees away from her, and he's probably going to put her in charge of some of the biggest ones there. Watch and see. Mark my words, people. Just saying. But you know what? Our queen may not have had any policy rights or anything to Canada, could make any laws. But you know what? She has one thing he didn't. She has respect from around the world. He's got respect from one-third of the United States population, maybe one-third. And half the people in his party don't want him either. Only five members of the majority, of the, uh, uh, five members in the majority party, um, that's all it's going to take to initiate a vote of no confidence against him and vote him out. Five members, that's all. Better hang on to that seat. Buckle in there, Kevin. Going to have to drag you out chair and all, I think. 
the uh, likes of uh, Matt Pervert, Gates there, Andy Biggs, Matt Rosendale, Bob Good, uh, they all vote, voted never, never Kevin. Remember the never Trumpers? These are never Kevins. Gotta like that, right? And then Scott Perry, Paul Gosar, Chip Roy, Dan Bishop, Andy Harris, Andrew Clyde. They're not convinced. They're, on, they're going to be on the no vote for the first vote going around. And then um, representatives-elect, Andy Ogles, uh, Anna Paulina Luna, and Eli Crane, they also oppose him being in that chair. So, like, there's nine of them, five of the other bastards are, that are never Kaviners. So let's see how this goes. So as we say goodbye to Nancy Pelosi today, as the speaker, I wish you well. And good enough on you taking them big lady balls with you because don't share them with Kevin because he doesn't have any. So anyway, take your lady balls with you, Nancy. We love you. You're going to be missed. Oh, and the circus is just about to begin. Can you pass me the peanuts there from the peanut gallery? Just asking. Anyway, naughty Nana loves you. Have a wonderful day. Can't wait to see how this turns out. I'll be back later. Mwah. Love you, love you, love you.